Sing donkey. Hello, Daddy Pig speaking. Monsieur Pig, come on, Talibou. Oh, something's wrong with the phone. Don't forget, la Grande Bretagne. Il y a la pluie, du soleil. You see, the phone's talking nonsense. Hello, come on, Talibou. Hello, Monsieur. Est-ce que Delphine peut rester pour un jour? Oui. Elle vient juste de prendre le train. Au revoir. That was Monsieur Donkey. He was speaking French. <laughs> I thought as much. Mummy, what did Monsieur Donkey say? He asked if little Delphine Donkey could visit us. Oh, goody! Delphine Donkey is Peppa's very special friend from France. Delphine's coming to practice talking English with us. Hooray! We better hurry. Delphine's train is arriving any minute. Last stop. All change. Bonjour means hello in French. Bonjour. <laughs> hey, oh, bonjour. Bonjour, Mr. Donkey. My goodness, is that huge case for Delphine? Yes, Delphine has brought a few little things for her visit. Things you do not have over here: cheese, bread, tomatoes, water. Hey, oh, au revoir, Delphine. I will be back to pick you up tomorrow night. Where shall I put Delphine's luggage? In my room, at the very top of the house. Oh. <laughs> oh. And this luggage is for one night stay. Oh yes, that is why I only pack a little bag. Oh. Now Delphine is here to practice talking English, so we must all help her. Yes, Mummy. <coughs> First, I must say sorry. I do not speak English very well. You don't speak too badly. You are very kind, Monsieur Pig. But may I ask you a question about talking English? Of course, <laughs> I'm an expert at talking. Ask away. Are English split infinitives a form of irregular verb or past pronoun? Ah.、Uh... Actually, it's quite late. Shall we set up Delphine's bed? Mummy, mummy. Can Delphine sleep in my bed with a pillow at each end? Good idea, Peppa. Peppa and Delphine are sleeping at each end of the same bed. <laughs> Now, children, try to go to sleep. You've got a busy day tomorrow. Delphine is visiting your playgroup. Wow! Dormez bien. Dormez bien is French for sleep well. I'm not sleepy at all. <laughs> Let's sing a little song to make us sleepy. Yes. <coughs> Frère Jacques, Frère Jacques, dormez-vous, dormez-vous, sonnez les matines. Delphine's pretty French song has sent everyone to sleep. <coughs> Delphine has come to visit Peppa's playgroup. <coughs> Madame Gazelle, this is my French friend Delphine Donkey. Bonjour. Ah, bonjour Delphine. Delphine sang a pretty French song last night. Can we teach her an English song? How about the Bing Bong song? Yes, sing me this Bing Bong song. It would be good for my English. Okay. We're playing a tune and we're singing a song with a bing and a bong and a bing. Bong bing boo, bing bong bing, bing bong bing bing bong bing boo. Bong bing boo, bing bong bing, bing bong bing bing bong bing boo. Good. I have learned lots of new English words. Bing bong, bingly bangly boo. <laughs> Dance. Peppa and George are in Granny and Grandpa Pig's garden. They're going to play in their treehouse. Peppa and George love their treehouse. Here are Peppa and George's friends: Zoe, Susie, Rebecca, and Richard. I like your treehouse, Peppa. Can we come in? Yes. 
Now we can have a tea party. <laughs> Here are Pedro and Daddy. Nay. Hello, Peppa. Can we come in? Sorry, Danny. Only girls can come into the treehouse. Boys are a bit noisy. They always spoil the tea parties. But George and Richard are boys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Sorry, George. This treehouse is for girls only. <laughs> What's wrong? The girls won't let us into the treehouse. It isn't fair. Ho oh, ho! Oh, I think I can help. Come over here. Now we can have a nice, quiet tea party. <laughs> <laughs> What's that noise? There. Now you boys have your very own den with its very own drawbridge. <laughs> A castle. Thank you, Grandpa Pig. Can we come in? No. This is a boy's den for boys only. But I love castles. Castles aren't as good as tree houses. Come on, girls. I'm the king of the castle. <laughs> Every castle needs a flag. Wow. They've got a flag. We don't need a silly flag. Here is Granny Pig. Hello, girls. Can I get you anything? A flag, please. And it must be better than the boys' flag. I'll see what I can do. I'm the king of the castle. Ho ho! Every castle needs a telephone. Hold this. Keep this string nice and tight, and you can talk to the boys. We don't want to talk to the boys. We don't want to talk to the girls. <laughs> Granny Pig has found a flag for the girls' den. This dress will make a pretty flag. Thank you, Granny. It isn't as good as the boys' flag. I wish we were in the castle. Fairy princesses live in castles. If I were a fairy princess, I would live in a tree house. Can we come over, please? Only if you say the castle is the best. It is the best. <laughs> I'm staying in my tree house. <laughs> I love the castle. <laughs> oh dear, it is raining and the castle has no roof. Let's go to the tree house. No, I'll never leave my castle. <laughs> <laughs> the rain has stopped. <laughs> George has found a muddy puddle. That looks fun. <laughs> I'm staying in my castle. I'm staying in my tree house. Ho oh, oh. ho! I'll look after your castle, Daddy. I'll look after your tree house, Peppa. <laughs> Pepper and Danny love jumping up and down in muddy puddles. Everyone loves jumping up and down in muddy puddles, whether they are girls or boys.